It's good to be with you, church family. I'm realizing that on this particular Sunday, we would be having the Lord's table. And so I'm going to make a request. If you'll just pause this video or come back to it, I'd like you to gather for yourself your own bread and your own drink that we might share communion together on this very special occasion. God is so good and we can trust him and of course this is also Palm Sunday and so I'd like to begin reading from Luke's Gospel and if you have your Bible at home you're more than welcome to get that as well. I'm going to read from Luke chapter 19 beginning at verse 28. <clears throat> and after he had said these things he was going on ahead, going up to Jerusalem. And when he approached Bethage and Bethany, near the mount that is called Olivet, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the village ahead of you there, and as you enter you will find a colt tied on which no one has yet ever sat. Untie it and bring it here. And if anyone asks you, Why are you untying it? You shall say, the Lord has need of it. So those who were sent away found it just as he had told them. And as they were untying the colt, its owners said to them, Why are you untying the colt? And they said, The Lord has need of it. And they brought it to Jesus, and they threw their coats on the colt and put Jesus on it. And as he was going, they were spreading their coats along the road. And as soon as he was approaching near the descent of the Mount of Olives, the whole crowd of the disciples began to shout and to praise joyfully with a loud voice for all the miracles that they had seen. They were shouting, Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in the highest and glory, peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples. But Jesus answered, I tell you, if these become silent, the stones will cry out. The stones will cry out. Well, when we gather at the Lord's table, we're here to cry out the gospel that the Lord Jesus gave his life for our sins, that he died, was buried, and that he rose again on the third day. The king has come, and the king is going to come again. And on this day and at this moment, if you'll take whatever bread you have, you'll remember the Lord Jesus, in the night he was betrayed, took the unleavened bread and he broke it and he said to his disciples this is my body and then it was passed around the room and each took a piece and ate of it let's eat together Jesus then took the cup and as well in giving thanks reminded them that this represented the blood of the new covenant. This table is a proclamation of the gospel that the Lamb of God, the precious Lamb of God, has given his spotless blood for us. And now I invite you to take your cup and drink with me. Come quickly, Lord Jesus. Father God, I thank you for this opportunity for us to gather, if even over the internet, and to celebrate your table together as one people. Lord, we look forward to your coming again, for truly you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords, 
And I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen.